We, Dane and Alette from Hikeaholics are embarking on another journey. This time we are in Italy, on the beautiful island of Sardinia. We are hiking the Camino Minerario di Santa Barbara in the southwest of Sardinia. The CMSB is a 500 km long Camino, which is divided into 30 stages. We are hiking stage 11 till 18 from Montimanu to Nuji, 100 km along this beautiful trail. We are walking on the most ancient land in Italy, along mountains, mines, characterized by the millennial mining epic of Sardinia. Welcome to the CMSB. Buongiorno, buongiorno. It's day three. Yeah, it's day three. <laughs> Woohoo, it's day three. Of the CMSB, that's <laughs> what I wanted to say, but that was like a little tongue twister. Tongue twister. <laughs> <laughs> it's day three on the CMSB. Uh, this morning we woke up in the Posada of San Benedetto, and San Benedetto is a really cute old town with a lovely church with like little umbrellas hanging over it, and it's like really a cozy old city right yeah we really enjoyed it and after a long day yesterday with quite a lot of hiking and enjoying the caves we arrived there pretty late today is a similar day lengthwise but a bit easier um, there's a 600 meter climb and after that that's 1100 meters descent towards domas novas where we will be staying tonight and in about one or two kilometers we're gonna pass a very old railway track the railway track is not there anymore, but it's built in the 19th century, which is pretty cool. One hour later. How did we know we were walking the wrong way? Uh, well, we saw a sign and then we looked left and we saw a beautiful old structure and we thought, what? The railway track is supposed to be on the right and it's on the left. So that's how we found out that we took the wrong turn accidentally. So if we have to go back now, we have to return five kilometers and walk it again. So I'm going to take the drone and show you what we missed. Along the whole trail it smells absolutely amazing. Like as you can see there are rosemary bushes here and there are olive trees and other kind of herb plants and it's just the smells are absolutely incredible. And from here it's only a little uphill, the last uphill from today and from there on it's a big descent from like 1200 meters descending, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Congele. In coastal plains, endless views that we're passing through, making our way to a distant place, just us two. 
So this morning we missed the old railway track, but guess what? There is another one. It's the Scavi Miniera su Corraval, if my Italian is correct for now. But the next two kilometers we're walking on an old railway track, which is pretty cool. And afterwards, we have one more surprise for you. What are you doing, Alet? Oh, I'm cooling down. Like there are caves and I think like old mine tunnels all along the trail and from like the inside of the of the cave or the tunnel there's like really cool air coming out. So during the hot days it's really a refreshing moment to stand in front of a tunnel. Whoa! <laughs> That's crazy! What is it? Yeah, it's like a never-ending tunnel. Enjoying the Italian salami? Mm. Very good. Italians, people know how to make like good food, you know? Enjoying the food every single day. <laughs> you have an incredible view behind you, what's that? I don't know, I can see it. <laughs> Sorry. That's the San Giovanni cave. And that's a 800 meter long cave. And we are walking straight through it right yeah and how's the lighting inside <laughs> from what we heard <laughs> yeah. uh, from what we heard there should be pedestrian lights but we saw a review on google that only one in ten lights are working so it's probably a bit dark but i hear some comforting music as well so i'm really curious how the experience will be and we have our headlamps of course yeah yeah of course
In case you don't want to hike through the tunnel, there's also a variant, so a different route that goes probably over the tunnel, so you won't have to go through the tunnel. <laughs> so we have to get hair nets and a helmet to pass it. <laughs> You look awesome. I know, it's the latest fashion. So yes. the lady said just five euros to pass through? Yeah, five euros per person and there's a QR code and then you can pass through the cave. The San Giovanni cave with its 860 meters of internal road is classified as the longest carriage cave in the world. The cave was created by a river. In the 19th century, a road was built through the cave to allow transport of timber first and lead and zinc ores later. Transport first carried out by cart pulled by animals but soon became motorized. This road was asphalted in the 70s and electric lights were installed along the road. The access to the San Giovanni cave was closed to cars only 10 years after the cave was declared a natural monument in 1989. This cave was really beautiful, right? Yeah, it was super, super beautiful. It was a bit dreamy, magical, and like there were vleermuizen? Oh, bats? Bats. <laughs> vleermuizen in Dutch. <laughs> <laughs> there were bats flying around and doves, and it was really like, I don't know. It was really dreamy, right? Yeah, dreamy and very calming, actually. And like Aletta said, there were some reviews on Google that it was very bad lit, but there were lights everywhere and it was just incredible. So we can really recommend doing this hike instead of the variant. We didn't hike the variant, of course, so maybe we have to check that out one day, but this is something you really cannot miss uh, in our opinion. From here, it's only three more kilometers to Domas Novas where we will be staying tonight. some amazing people along the way like Paolo is supposed to be a famous guy here and we just met a couple of people and we gave them beer and it just really makes this day really special <laughs> I absolutely love it this is my dream place <laughs> 